Hi there students. I have a request asking me to make a video about commensalism. Commensalism. This is an uncountable noun. This is talking really about symbiosis. This is a relationship between two different organisms, two creatures that live together and one gets a benefit from it whereas the other is not affected. So, for example, there are all sorts of um, fish, for example, a remora, which attach themselves to larger fish and eat the excrement that come from these fish. Um, and that's a, a specialised type of commensalism. Or, for example, you have barnacles, little shell-like things that attach themselves to the surface of a whale and the whale moves them around and is, this is very beneficial for the barnacles but it doesn't affect the whale at all. The whale is completely unaffected. So commensalism is a type of symbiosis. Oh, I also ought to note that commensalism um, can also be used as the act of eating together. And notice the origin of this word. I see the word in Spanish, comensal, somebody who eats a diner. So commensalism, eating together. But I think um, commensalism, this is mostly to do with biology. Um, and I think we probably ought to have a little look at symbiosis. Now, when I went to school, I learned symbiosis as two creatures that live together that have mutual benefit between them. But apparently this phrase symbiosis is more open than that. And it's two um, different species that live to get root together regardless of the benefit. And if both species benefit, this is mutualism. For example, a hawk moth um, drinking the nectar of a plant. It drinks the nectar of the plant and is then um, the plant in turn, the flower, is pollinated. So this is beneficial for both. And this is mutualism. Um, you have amensalism in which one of the one of the parties is actually harmed by this symbiosis and the other one is completely unaffected um, so they live together and one of them is harmed and one one is not and then you have parasitism where one gets benefit from it and the other is harmed for example um, parasitic plants mistletoe on trees uh, on apple trees. The mistletoe takes many of the things and roots into the tree, taking the good from the tree. And this hurts the apple tree. So these are all different types of um, of symbiosis. Um, but commensal relationships, this is uh, this is has been very important through human um, development. Um, for, e for example, the domestication of various species um, has come through commensalism. Um, for example, dogs come in originally when they were wild, they um, used to feed on the rubbish around hu the places where human, human li humans lived. So th there's the beginning of a, commens co uh, a, commensal, a commensal relationship. And then this relationship gets closer and many of the domesticated animals that humans have today, this started from uh, commensal, commensalism, from this type of relationship where these animals benefited by being close to, to humans. I'm thinking rats and rodents. Um, for, uh, these um, are associated with human habitation and this I think is a, is a form of commensalism because it's a place for them to get their food, it's a place for them to feed. So commensalism, for formality, mm, I think I'm going to give it a 6.5 in, in formality. Semi-formal conversation, just about semi-formal writing or something formal. Um, and then, yes, as to the origin, well, we've got this word commensal um, from medieval Latin, commensalis, com, 
and mess, mesa, the same, at, together, con, at mesa, at table, eating at the same table. Commensalism. 